the star is born. That's the theme for this week's The Weekly Strategy Memo. I'm Rich Taffel, president of RLT Strategies. Each week, I answer a question from a world-changing leader like you. And this week's question is from New York. It reads, I love the Weekly Strategy Memo. How long did it take you to do your first and streamline to where you are today? What steps and equipment do I need to do one? Okay, so I'm going to give you my 10 steps to create your video message. The first advice I got on this was that I would have to purchase a Macintosh, and that sounded both expensive to me and, um, and something I really didn't want to do. But um, my friend Jason, who was an expert in this, said it would be much better if I did purchase one of these to do this work. And um, wow, it is just the coolest thing. I really enjoy working with the MacBook Pro that I purchased and I think it's the best way to start. The next thing is you'll need to learn to use iMovie, which is the software that comes with the Macintosh, and it uh, it's a very simple way to create movies, and in fact, it's really, really fun. The next thing you're going to need to do is get a flip high-definition camera. Uh, the Mino is a flip cam that's probably the most popular, and it's the one that I use. So you're actually uh, watching the strategy memo, you're seeing the camera I use. Kodak has also come out with one, and I think that's going to be a really interesting uh, competition, and I'm already looking closely at, at the Kodak. And one other quick thing you might want to get is this Gorilla tripod that kind of clings to anything. This is gives me the ability to go online and snatch a, a snapshot, like you can see here of the movie um, A Star is Born with Judy Garland, and you can snap it off of YouTube. Um, you take a few seconds. I like to show a little movie in the beginning of uh, my segments each week and kind of have a little fun with it. The next step is being ready for your actual presentation. This came as a real surprise to me. I think the biggest surprise in doing this, and that is that it's because it's a visual medium, people are going to comment on your looks, and they're going to tell you that you look tired. They're going to tell you that your hair is uh, out of order. They're going to tell you that they don't like the backdrop. They don't like the color of your shirt. Um, you're hoping they're listening to the answer to your question, but it is a visual medium. So one, I want to warn you to be ready for that, and two, it does take a little time. And um, for all you straight guys, don't be afraid to throw in a little bit of makeup or something. Um, you don't want to look tired like I did in this video. I write out the complete answer to the question, and that is probably the most time-consuming aspect of this whole endeavor. I then put it uh, into an outline form and eventually memorize it. So that actually takes some mental time and some thought time and prep time. So that's the biggest chunk of time, is actually preparing yourself to answer. Once you're done shooting it, it's really easy with these cameras to just upload it into your computer, put it on iMovie, and it really doesn't take that long. It's really quite fast to edit it on iMovie, and it's ready to be uploaded. You're now ready to upload it, and there's a share option on iMovie that shares it directly to YouTube. Once you're on YouTube, you'll get a URL. You can use that in newsletters, and you can also very easily share that with your Facebook account or your Twitter account. So the whole process will probably take you a couple hours in the beginning and that should decrease over time and uh, for me it's I can get all of this done in about an hour but uh, I would say in the beginning that was probably two hours and you'll get better as you go along I've discovered this is a great way to communicate with potential clients with clients with friends it's a great way to answer questions for people who can't afford to pay for my services and I have to also warn you it can be pretty addictive iMovie is really fun to take those old family movies and bring them up to speed with some modern music it's really a lot of fun I hope you give it a shot and I look forward to your question next week